problem is with this type of a generating system is it is so easy to put in or so it so it seems to like the lay people that is a lot of it is plug and play but you're starting to talk about hundreds or thousands of volts with very high uh, e energy it has been uh, basically driven a lot to the uh, need for a national certification in that uh, back east in the province of Ontario they've had a feed-in tariff program which has really caused a gold rush that everybody there wanted to put PV solar on their roofs and their farm fields and their uh, uh, wind uh, turbine system etc cetera, etc cetera. there was this huge uh, move which made really that whole province a global leader when it came to the installation of PV solar. We wanted to make sure that that was done properly and safely. We set up this national program standard and a subsequent certification with CSA, which is based on a qualified and certified Red Seal electrician taking a, uh, taking a proven training program and uh, passing a, a certification test, which is actually uh, um, structured and run by CSA to actually prove that everybody doing that work has a, a proven, proven level of confidence. We have based our programs here, a 24-hour program, we have based it on the same sort of model that is being used throughout the U.S. But we have done it to meet our standards through the C CEC code. And, and like the regulations from coast to coast. The, um, the course itself is uh, 16 hours of, uh, of uh, full-time class study dealing with the theory of, uh, of uh, PV solar safety, the pre-planning, the uh, installation of PV solar, the maintenance and the troubleshooting of these, of these systems, followed by an eight-hour portion of hands-on doing a practical installation of a PV solar system in our training yard, where we set up a series of mock roof sections, and it's a very wonderful hands-on type of a training course. It is of benefit to the public as a whole to harness the power of, of the sun, and we want to make sure that when the grants and tax credits come to BC, which they will in this land of rain, uh, th there is still free power that's in the skies every single day and once the grants and tax credits or feed-in tariffs come in it is a viable option for the public the industry is here to just harness the power out of the sun we want to make sure that when that happens that's the work of quali qualified electricians working for licensed contractors under a permit anything else could be said to be compromising public safety.